Nation Clinic at the Oregon Convention Center will actually be closing down next month. That says efforts move towards local community clinics. Yeah, we're taking a look tonight as the OCC has managed to vaccinate hundreds of thousands of Oregonians with the help of an army of volunteers. Our Lisa Balick is checking in with some of them and joins us live. Yeah, it's interesting, Dan. I'll tell you that initially a lot of people volunteered because they thought, hey, it's a way to be towards the front of the line to get a COVID shot. But now months have gone by and that army of volunteers is still going strong. The main motivation is to try and stop the pandemic. Now here at the convention center, they have had more than two thousand volunteers or mostly Oregonians, some people from Washington as well volunteering. There are a big reason why people have been able to move through this mass vaccination site so quickly. Besides those from the National Guard, there are veterans, teachers, retirees, people from the Carpenters Union who help the four major hospital groups with everything from greeting, supply help, check-ins and assisting with getting and giving shots. I talked with some who are still volunteering long after they got their shots. This is what I heard from many people today. It's history in the making and there's so much uh, negative things going on in Portland right now that it's nice to be involved with something that's good. Now volunteers, by the way, do have to go through a background check and training. There were so many all for Oregon had more than they could use for helping hands here. Now the convention center will stop giving first shots a week from today and by mid June they'll be wrapping all the efforts up here. Instead, they'll be redirecting everything to smaller clinics closer to where people live and work. I'll have more of this coming up today at five live in Northeast Portland. Lisa Bailick, Coin Six News. And we certainly